Good morning, children. Welcome back to the third session of this lesson, True Height. Uh, in the past two videos, we have discussed how the child Michael Stone, his dreamt, he was dreaming about to fly and uh, his passion and his obsession, yes, and he's been practicing the pole vault and his dream of cracking in at the National Junior Olympics. Yes, children. And he started his regimented workout from the age of 14. And his mother and father were stone and milder stone. How they are very supportive to him. Mother used to read numerous stories. And one side is she is so inspirational and motivated to him. Father, on the other hand, is a hardcore realist, yes, as being his coach, trainer, and all uh, very supportively, right? His dream is dedication, determination, and discipline, but much as uh, persistence he has been striving for perfection. He had been practicing as a teamwork to make his dreams come true, and at the at last, his the most challenging day the event had come. He's on the track. Already he has cleared the 17 feet 2 inches and 17 feet 4 inches bars. Now he's ready to take the next plunge. And we also seen how the different kind of feeling he underwent he was as he was standing on the runway with his pole. Uh, how nervous and anxious he was. Yes, and then he envisioned his mother and immediately followed her advice that came to his mind. What's the children? Yeah, take a deep breath, deep breaths when you thought so it could be released of that tension. And when he heard the singing of the distant robins, he, he knew that it is a time for his flight. Yes. So let us see, continue with this today's uh, lesson. Now, hope you all are ready with your textbooks, right? Turn to your pages. Yes, good. All right. And the page number 28, the last paragraph is the second unit. Hope you're ready with your pencil and pen to underline the words. Right. As he began sprinting down the runway, something felt wonderfully different at family. The surface below him felt like a country road he used to dream about. The rocks and chunks of dirt, the visions of golden wheat fields seemed to fill his thoughts. When he took a deep breath, it just happened. He began to fly. His takeoff was effortless. Michael Stone was flying just as his childhood dreams. Only this time he knew he wasn't dreaming. This was real. Everything seemed to be moving in a slow motion. The air around him was the purest and freshest he had ever sensed. Michael was soaring with the majesty of an eagle. Yes, children, is sprinting down. What's sprinting down? Yes, is running very fast. Yeah, already we discussed. No, they has to. And the gymnast and the pole vaulting is always has. It's a glamorous event, right? It has the grace of a gymnast and the strength of a bodybuilder. So he has to run. With his pole, you can see in this, yes, and uh, with the help of the pole, he has to plunge into the air and cross the board that has set before him at the height of almost a two story building. Yes, so as sprinting down the runway, running very fast, something felt wonderfully different and yet familiar. Familiar is very known feeling because he used to practice. It's the surface below him, like uh, when uh, in the first um, uh, uh, lesson we've seen, you know, how he was uh, in his dreams, is running beside the uh, golden wheat fields and uh, 
taking over, he is running out, outrun all the locomotives, yes, the rocks of chunks of that, all this feeling it used. But that was in his dreams. But this time, okay, when he took the deep breath, it just happened. He began to fly a globe, soaring like an eagle. We saw how the eagle soars, okay. I, it, he take off was effortless. It's very easy. Yes, because almost the crash, we, we, we discussed that practice makes a man perfect this time. It's very easy because of constant preparation. Yes, children, it's not easy anything until and unless we practice it very much. Yes, Michael Stone was flying just as his childhood dreams. Only this time he knew he wasn't dreaming. Yes, now the dream is has come true in reality a thought has turned into action yes this was real everything seemed to be moving in a slow motion how was this feeling till now the cold sweat was running but now he could experience the purest and freshest air he sensed is relaxed and he was soaring means flying upward with the majesty of an eagle you can see in these pictures how in his childhood uh, dreams running beside the golden cornfields and now soaring like and once again the eagle picture here the majesty much it is supreme you know the eagle is the king of birds yes it, it, it can soar even up to the heights of over the flies when a storm comes children it goes beyond it and uh, it runs, it renews its strength it's come back it can fly again is the storm that's why it is majestic bird yes yes in his dreams, all his cherished dreams, but now it is real. Yes, he could take off his that event. So I play how Michael, you can watch this video and enjoy. Sprinting down the runway, yeah, soaring like an eagle, crossing the bar that was set before him. Wonderful. He could do it. Yeah, he fell and flattered on that. But as now you got an idea of what is Paul Walt. As yes, children, hope you all enjoyed this. It was either eruption of the people in the stands or the thump of his landing that brought Michael back to the earth. On his back with that wonderful hot sun on his face, he could only envision the smile of his mother's face. He knew his dad was probably smiling too, even laughing. Bert would always do that when he got excited. Smile then a sort of giggle. The, what he didn't know was that his dad was hugging his wife and crying. He was crying harder than Mildred had ever seen him before. She knew, she also knew he was crying the greatest tears of all, tears of pride. You can see in the pictures how his mother and father with joy, yes, hugging one another and crying. Yes, it was then now he was in his Oh, like elated, the feel of soar and jump and fall. Now, the eruption outbreak, the people, the spectators in the stadium who all anxiously watching, oh, just they bursted out in the shouts and claps and stood. So that brought him back into onto the earth, into senses. And then uh, the hot sun he felt on his face when he fell uh, that wow. Uh, on that she okay and he could only what he could envision the smile of his mother he knew he has done it yes then he said oh my mother she'll be happy yes and what my dad would be probably doing oh laughing because you know when his father got excited excited mean overjoyed usually he'll what he lose a smile and then a sort of giggle giggle means a laugh a kind of then, but what exactly they both are doing in this image, you can see they were, he's crying harder 
and he knew was that when we when we, those are the greatest years of all was the children you all read tears of pride we have tears of pain tears of joy and tears of pride yes my son could achieve it after all this many days of hard work we have done it as a team yes it's their overjoyed enthusiastic and they both burst into the the, uh, the shedding the tears of pride yes children and michael was immediately swarmed up with people hugging and congratulating of the greatest accomplishment of his life he later went on that day to clear 17 feet 6 and half inches a national and international junior olympic record okay children so it took immediately people swam up you can see in this image here a swam up swam up means yeah all grouped you see usually we all watch cricket so much you know so at the end of the game they jump into the stadium now even no one can control them yes they come around and take autographs photographs so much happens yes so swam the group around crowded what all they're doing they're hugging him congratulating him appreciating him lifting or cheering him is patting him oh why all this because of the greatest accomplishment of his life what is accomplishment children underline the word accomplishment the achievement or success we could do something we have done something that is our accomplishment in life the successful people accomplish so many things yes yeah, so many things in their life despite of all the hardships that is what it's not an easy to be as to be successful as yes, children so michael stone swam up with people congratulating him and later after that he went on to 1756 centuries he has set a national and international records of junior olympics yes with all the media attention and heartfelt congratulations michael's life would never be the same it wasn't just because he won national junior olympics and set a new record yes sure and it wasn't because he had just increased his personal best by Nine feet, nine and a half inches. It was simply because why? Because it was never going to be the same. Yes, it was simply because Michael Stone was blind. Oh, what a twisted end of this lesson, my children. So you can see the boy, a blind boy, become a champion. Right? How could he do that? Yes, he will. Is differently able. Yes, how could a person with a special need could do such a feat, such a reset a world record? It's nothing but what is that, children? Once again, we'll come back to uh, was that uh, face sheet was a famous quotation: "Dream, dream, dream high." Our dreams, yes are turned into actions so, yes let us let me share this dream dream and dream high but dreams lead to thoughts and thoughts lead to action yes no children so right so that's what he could do it so that's why i encourage you to have a dream a vision in your life yes his vision what is his vision a determines and constant preparation to yes if we nourish we certain things in our regarding our academics or careers in life certainly one day a man is what he think that is a famous saying and always we should have our aims higher aims higher goals yes michael stone even in the when we're discussing face sheet i asked a question how do you know any person in your uh neighborhood or in your vicinity with the uh, special needs at is an achiever or a champion his children uh, so this is how michael stone is yes, i hope you all enjoyed and you are inspired i learned so many yes children not only the 
vocabulary and we have seen some structures but on the whole if we can draw great inspiration from this character uh, michael stone how he could do this and this lesson was written by famous right author and award winning author david nastor it's a fiction and uh, let us know some information about david nastor you can see his pick his uh, award winning author and filmmaker his books and films have been implemented at stanford cancer center and so many numerous universities hospitals and worldwide also used many episodes and books of you just have to love in his 40th year of making people love david's passion what's his passion and purpose is simply to help and heal the world one love at a time yes he's a renowned uh, as a comedian as children an american to open world love tour he has been awarded so many awards he received awards from colleges and tvs for his comedic talents so David Nasser, this is briefly about the author of this uh, lesson, True Height. So, um, I have some questions for you. And this is uh, also assignment. So, follow the questions carefully. What was so special about Michael's achievement? What was so special? You had to do... Because in the end, in the climax, we saw his blind he was blind so being blind doing all that yes nothing special was a common man a perfect person an able person doing is also special but what's so special is his physically challenged but how he could achieve all this how he could nourish his dreams and put into rushment and practice and uh, supporting parents and all that you had to right about what is so special is yes, the timing and jumping it's not easy how much and that's how could you say children uh, in the lesson if you carefully follow always there is he felt he envisioned instead of seeing his mother often the word envisioned and the envision means visualize we have a picture in the mind he envisioned his mother yes he felt he knew he, he, he did not say all crowd stood up no he knew when he heard the crowd clapping and cheering him yes he understood he felt the hot sun so all through these feelings that is uh, so that you can write um uh, the achievement what was so special being blind how could he do all do all this what was surprising thing about michael almost a similar uh, answer comes can you say what were the feelings of michael when he set a new world record yes what were the feeling in the last lesson what were they before he take the final plunge in the junior olympics how the anxious thoughts how nervous he is that but when he set the record how yes Yes, is undoubtedly he is very happy, but we know he is very cool. He is composed. Is he is envision again his mother and father what they might be doing. He is happy that he could make them happy. Yes, and happy that he he made his dreams come true. Yes, that certain feelings we had to imagine in his character in his show, and he just write. You can take it as a diary entry, children, in the coming session the last session of this a reading i'll discuss with you certain discourses pertaining to this lesson right and why was his life not going to be same yes in the last pair it's not going to be same yes why not same because of fame yes till now he is an unknown oblivious he was in oblivious and you know, a little boy with the determination now he is a a uh, world famous a uh, renowned champion yes and he's a successful person he's an achiever he's going to be inspiration 
it and to many of us. Yes, with all the media attention. So he's become very popular. It won't come overnight, children. If we sit and dream, it won't come, children. I always tell you, you have to work for it. Yes, what is Michael Stone's uh, for the bird stone's motto, children? If you want something, work for it. Sweat. He believes in sweat. He believes in hard work. We can see this, all these characters, a strong determination. Yes, discipline and uh, hard work in the Michael Stone's uh, achievement. All this was step by step, step by step with a great striving and great persistence. He could achieve his dream. So these questions, please note down and answer these comprehensive questions in the coming uh, unit. I'll discuss some vocabulary and grammar to with you and uh, some of the discourses. So, Jiradi, uh, on the first lesson I have given you, what is the aim of your life, a write-up. Hope you have done it. So be ready with all your works. Well, when, until we meet in the next uh, session, take care. Once again, let us wind up this uh, class by reading out aloud together our quotation dream dream and dream high the dreams lead to thoughts and thoughts lead to actions right children so do your work and uh, keep all things read the lesson lesson reading is very important so you heard me reading for you you also take your textbooks read all that lesson and uh, list out the hard words new vocabulary glossary learn them do the review work, answer the questions I have given and practice, do some writing work, okay? And probably once your classes, schools are back, you'll be having this marks for this, uh, for the summatives and the formatives, yes, assessments. So you have to submit them. So day by day, uh, without procrastinating, postponing, do all your work and get ready for the next class. Thank you.